Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the program. Here we are on TV once again. Once a day. Every day. Turn on the machines. Then we start talking. We're going to be here for an hour. Today is Wednesday. And it's Daylight Savings Time Week. How is Daylight Savings Time Week going for you guys out there in TV land? It feels like it's 10.30 right now. But it's not. Look at the clock. It's 11.30. One. But... It feels maybe still like it's 10.30 unless you recover really fast or don't feel akin to the sun and time at the same spots in your mind each day. And if you're feeling it like that, then it, maybe it's a good thing. Sometimes being unaware of the setting and the rising of the sun helps you out during these times of transition of daylight savings time but if you feel uh, heavily especially if you're watching the program often and if you're like hey, the program feels like it's on early tonight you know when when that thing happens we gotta start doing everything earlier we're just like oh now this time is that time we just tell ourselves and everybody else but it really, I mean, the biggest lie is to yourself. How many time, how how long does it take you to say, okay, this is what time it really is, and then you go for it and you actually believe it. Like, you know, the people can have you do that, but I think that's like very much in your head. That's pretty a wild thing to me that I think about it. You know, everybody's doing it. It's got to agree to do things. I wonder if there's anything else. You know, that. Are that, are that much of a cultural standard topic thing that we all do and then we just look right past it I can't think of any others I think that's a thing to ask people maybe at the street team might be a good one for the street team I'm gonna look over here we got some messages as you can see there's nobody here on the couch so Sometimes when that happens, we go to the messages. Looks like we got a text message here. Bird says, do you like a drama? Social drama? Have you ever about thought about having drama week? How goes daylight savings time week? Well, real good. Bird is going real good. Uh, I have not thought about having drama week, but I think that's a good idea. Could be, you know, associated with kind of death week. Here we go. Yeah, next week is uh, St. Patrick's Day week, so you got something you can call in about. And then after that, it's Sea Week brought to you by Sam Miller, and then Game Week, and then Death Week. Oh, this is a bird. We're trying to call Bird to see if he's going to answer. Hey, Bird. Hi, this is Robert. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message, and I will call you back. Have a good day. Hey, Bird. It's the program. We're calling you after you left a message there. I think Roma Week sounds like a good idea. Maybe we should put that into the schedule. Daylight Savings week is going well. You can call us back. You have about 30, 55 minutes. That is 55 minutes. Thanks, Bird. Look at this. This is Dan Dobler. Actually, this is Dan Dobler. This is Dan. 
Hey, Dan. He's on the back, bye. All right. You know, I think every time we call Dan, he's asleep. We'll find out now. Dan Dobler, here it is. Himself. Hi, Kitty. Hey, Dan. We're on TV. How are you doing? Fine. Did we wake you up? What? You weren't sleeping. I can't understand you. Oh. Hey, we. I've been sending you a lot of voicemails on the program. Can you hear me? Oh. He hung up. There's something wrong with the. Couldn't hear. Dan Double couldn't hear us, that's too bad. He might call us back. This is the final voicemail here. Hey, program. I'm just wondering if you guys have been talking about anything that's been on the news. Um, just wondering if, uh, yeah, if anything has stood out to you guys or that you've talked about it, anything around Olympia, anything weird that's going on or has happened, so... Just wondering, okay, call me back. Bye. Wondering what? Hello? Oh. Something went weird with the machines there for a second. Hello, you've reached Alex, and I would love for you to leave me a message. Voicemails. Hey, Alex. It's the program. Maybe you're sleeping. You can call us back. You have about 52 minutes. Bye. There she goes. Well, that's all the messages that we had today. I think we should probably call Carl. He's scheduled to be here tomorrow and on Friday actually, so. Hello? Hey, Carl. It's the program. What's up? We're on TV. Hi. <laughs> You're scheduled to be here tomorrow. Yes, I am. You want to do 8.30 tomorrow? Um, sure. 8.30 is fine. Great. It's going to be Daylight Savings Time week. Yes, looking forward to it. You're also <laughs> scheduled to be on Friday to have uh, to DJ the dance o dance. Yeah, I uh, I just got the uh, uh, n notification request on Facebook. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So I'm um, yay. I'm looking forward to it. You gonna. DJ. Uh, sure. At it's least. Be... Uh, 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 by, I, by recording, yes. It's going to be the, I'm, the, I'm, the first time anybody has heard the music. <laughs> What's that? It'll be the re kind of a, like a release. Yeah. Nobody have, has heard it, so it's going to be kind of our debut anyway. Well, uh, other than select people... But, you know, like uh, my parents and whatnot, and they're, my parents are, you know, they uh, look towards it as maybe making, I, m maybe um, making myself a, a career, but uh, of course I need to have 50 albums um, made in order for that to happen. But I, I certainly have a wish. 
You, you, or not 50, but, you know, something more 50, than just one. 50 copies or 50? 50, 50 different albums. Wow. Hey, it's time for the first dice game. Oh, hey, Rachel is here too, huh? Hello. Oh, uh, Frosty. Wow, thank you. <laughs> hey, I got a Frosty Carl. Carl's on the phone. Uh, you made it just in time for the first dice game. Yay! Yeah, let's get out a pen here. We're gonna get out a pen. We're gonna write a number down on our hands between one and six. One and six. Yeah. Is this on? It's on. Uh, it's pretty quiet. There, I turned it up. All right. You see a pen anywhere? I'm looking for one of my first. Uh, here's one. Awesome. Hi, Tuna. Hi, Tuna. Shout out. Hey, Tuna. There you go. Alright. One and six. Alright, yeah, between one and six for the dice game. Okay. Okay, you got it, Carl. What's your number? Um, I'm choosing uh three. Three, okay, here we go. Just one of them? Yeah, one dice. Oh. It's the first one. Oh, what did I hit? Here we go. Six. Six. I lost. This time, did you did you win? I didn't. I didn't win. Carl, we all lost. Oh, uh, uh, well. What? Uh, five more <laughs> Titan dice to win. Yeah, we, we still have a lot more chances. Hey, thanks, Carl. We'll right. see you tomorrow. Bye. Looking for looking forward to it. Great. Peace out. You want some peanuts? No thanks. I, how are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? Real good, thank you. When was the last time you were here? Um, I believe it was President's Day. President's Day. That was yeah. in February. Yeah, it was February. You uh, see anything on the streets in the last couple of weeks here? Oh man, what have I seen on the streets? Um, <clears throat> I've seen. Uh, I don't know. No. Stuff. People walking about. Regular stuff. Regular stuff. Nothing crazy. No. Mm -mm. Not that I can think of. My memory is like being shoddy right now. Yeah, it's hard to remember things, especially <laughs> if there was not a big thing. <laughs> not a big street thing. Yeah. There wasn't like a crazy impromptu flash mob or street fair or something. Yeah, regular stuff. It's uh, daylight savings time week this week. Yes. Awesome. Cool. You like daylight savings time week? Uh, I I really enjoy it. Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. I enjoy the daylight savings time. What, why do you like it? Because um, I don't like it. Everybody, and a lot of people, they say they don't like it because you had a... <clears throat> I think people should just change their schedule instead of their clocks, you know? It's like a lie. It's a big lie, and you lie to yourself and you start believing it. <laughs> but you like it? Yeah, I like <laughs> Is it because of the sun? Do you wake up, I mean, or, like, do you like the longer day? I do. I like having more sunshine in my life. But you could just wake up earlier instead. It's, you like, the same. You could do that. It's the same amount of sun. It's still the same. It's like you're lying to yourself, telling yourself there's more sun, but it's the same, like, if you didn't change it. I'm okay with believing the lie. I think, mm -hmm. I think I'm okay with it. Well, I think we all are. We all have to be because of the thing, so I guess we should just go with it. But, you know, I think we're everybody should just i think as a as people we should just change our schedules i think and this mm -hmm. time like but everybody would have to do that i guess it'd be a little bit annoying to do but just instead of having daylight savings time everybody just say we're gonna start doing things earlier or later mm -hmm. is that so hard to do not really no like businesses could open and close uh, like say it instead of changing the clocks I could maybe have to change more things that way, I don't know. No, that makes sense. Yeah. I think it'd be better. Carl, are you still there? Um, sure. Yeah, he's still are there. Are you still there? Yes. <laughs> Did you, have, you, have you seen Carl before? I, I don't think so. <laughs> We're here with Rachel. Hey, Carl. Okay. Uh, did you hear that whole daylight savings time thing? You have any comments about that? 
spring forward. Yeah. Do you like the <laughs> Zoom time for or Carl? Maybe we're gonna, he's going to be here tomorrow. We're going to ask him about it. Do you see anything on the news? Any new news? No? You following the, the uh, Russia? Of uh, me? No. I uh, know whoever, I guess. It's hard to follow. Uh, but, yeah, it's kind of hard to follow the news if you're not following the news. God. I didn't get the cable box. <laughs> no cable? No cable. What, Carl? It's kind of hard to follow the news if you're not following the news. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I guess we're going to start calling some people. That's all the messages. So we checked all the messages. And, Carl, you're the last person on the... Th oh, we call Freddy the producer to on the schedule to call. So awesome. we're going we're gonna to keep going on with the phones. We'll see you tomorrow, Carl. Thank you. Bye. Peace out, yo. There it goes. Thanks, Carl. Yeah, it's called Freddy the Producer. Find out how the production end is going. I did run into Freddy this week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I went to the uh, Hot Fruit show. Hot Fruit. They're going to be playing on the program here on Friday for the viewers. Awesome. If you tune in, I don't know when it's going to play. Maybe they'll play on the show, some of it. But uh, Nice. That'll be at TCTV. We're doing that the first Friday of the month. But air, I guess it starts airing this or airs the second Friday of the month. Excellent. Program. Hey, Freddie, how are you doing? Oh, me, I'm, uh, I just got done bowling. Uh-huh. I'm uh, hanging out with Scott Young. We are at LaVoyer right now. Um, yeah, not doing too much, just kind of talking. I actually just ran into uh, somebody, I think, named Dave, and they were asking about the program. I actually, you called me while I was talking about the Daily Hour itself. So, wow. Uh, yeah. Look at that. It's a, it, it's a coincidence. Uh, Scott wants yeah. to get a golf cart, right? What is what, do you, what does Scott want to do with a golf cart? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scott wants a golf cart? Oh, yeah. I better, I better put him on the phone here. Let me, uh, let me go grab him. We tried to, uh, he, he left us some messages yesterday. He said that he wants a golf cart. Oh, okay, perfect. Well, we will uh, we'll find out what that's all about. In the meantime, uh, production end is going good, although I brought all my gear to TCTV, and then I thought it was in the uh, in my car, and then I got home after bowling, and it wasn't in the car, but I'm really hoping that I just left it at TCTV. Otherwise, we're missing a couple hard drives. I don't think that's, I don't think that's real, though. Plus, it's just hard drives. Here's, uh, let me put Scott on the line. Okay. Scott, golf cart thing. One of the two golf carts. Oh, hello. Hey, Scott. Uh, we're on TV. How you doing? Oh, good. How are you, Kenny? Oh, real good. Thank you. Well, what are you going to do with the golf cart? Um, well, I'm planning on, you know, just driving it around the east side, um, and... <laughs> You know, with the cooler in the back. Yeah. Uh, for the summer. Cool. So I just just for fun, then. Uh, what? Just for fun, then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like a pleasure. But I also, like, want to, you know, use it for, like, a work vehicle. Mm-hmm. That sounds great. I want a golf want cart a golf also. Cart. Yeah. That sounds fun. So you, have to, so you have to drive on the side of the road, like, in the median? You can take it around town, though. Um, probably around the neighborhood. Why is everybody in such a hurry? Why do we need these cars that are going so fast? Every day I run golf carts. They go pretty fast. Probably go like 15 miles an hour. I think people should slow down a little bit. When yeah, I think around. like 20. Yeah. Slow down, people. We can just go around in golf carts. <laughs> should get the big tires and you can take it off-roading. It's uh, daylight savings time. We... Scott, do you like daylight savings time? Hello? Scott? We can hear him. We can hear the phone going, hey, look, it's info time. Here it goes. Maybe they'll figure out the phone thing during info time. 
Hey, program. It's info time. You gonna read oh. this? Here are some answers to some quick last questions about the program. You're watching your right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's a call and television talk show. It's taped right here in Thurston County, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 on leap years. It airs every night at 11.30 p.m. on TCTV Channel 22. Each episode airs a week after it was taped, so if you're watching at 11.30 p.m. this episode taped the same day, weekday of the week, if you are watching at 2 a.m., this episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. Anybody can be on the program, especially you, YDSWM, you realize in the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384. Leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Oh. Yeah, and then it's... Thank you for watching. Now back to the program. We're back. Hey, Freddie, we're back. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Welcome back to the program, everybody. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I didn't actually hear what Scott had to say about all that stuff, so I'm looking forward to watching this episode and finding out. Great. Have you ever ridden a golf cart before? Have I ever been in a golf cart? No. No, I have not. Me I uh Really? Me neither. Have you? I don't think I have. Yeah, totally. I've driven golf carts. Fun. fun. You just went on it. Rachel is here. Hey, Freddy. Oh, hey, Rachel. What's up? You went oh, on a golf cart. You just uh, Yeah, my grandparents have a I'm, golf cart. I'm having a I'm having a actually a very good day. I, sometimes you just you realize that life is what you're doing, and then you realize that you're enjoying it. And uh, that was yeah. one of those days earlier today. I had a really good day where I just, like, made a burger in my house, and I said, wow, I'm really glad I can just, like, eat this burger and even go to work. And then all the radio songs on the radio just, like, were so good. And there was that song about uh, if you believe happiness is the truth, like, bop along with me or something like that. It's been a very good day. Hey, Thanks. great. How'd, how'd you do at bowling? Um, pretty good. This is the first time we bowled, or it's the first time I bowled since I've been gone for about three weeks. So, um, I had, I was, I kind of had low expectations and then ended up getting either my average or above every time. And overall, we actually... One, we didn't sweep everybody, which is good, because I don't ever want to make everyone, anyone feel like a loser, of course. <laughs> and uh, we all had a good time. Even the other team, I think, enjoyed themselves. They actually played this game called Dimes, where, like, they would keep track of how many times either, like, if somebody got a strike and nobody else got a strike, then everyone else would have to, like, pay a dime. I don't know. They, had, they were, like, doing some kind of money game. They were, like, playing bowling and then had a separate game where they would... Oh, <laughs> I've never and then they would have to pay money at the end or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but they seem to have a good time with it. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. How's the production end going? Did you already say that? I think you may, may have already. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, Everything's going great unless my computer bag is stolen, which I don't oh, think yeah. it is. It makes no sense. Even though my car door was open while I was, not open, but unlocked while I was at bowling, I don't think anything's gone. I think I just left it at PCTV, so everything should be fine. But uh, we're on TV for tonight. we got 2 a.m. going through next week. And actually, tomorrow I'm delivering the episodes for the radio show to COA. So we actually should be, by the time this airs on TV, we should be airing at, I think, 1 a.m., on COA with the first season of the radio episodes. So tune in for that, viewers. Oh, great. We should probably call them or go there. Okay. Like yeah, we could go to Media Island. Yeah. Nice. We could do a live do you episode, want to do that? right? We can do a live episode on the, on the radio show? Yeah. Actually, we should do that as soon as the... Um, we should do that maybe when it's done with the um, first season of the radio episodes, or there is one radio episode that is missing. There's a single one, I think it's like the 17th episode of the radio episode that is not on the internet and I can't find it. I don't know where it is. So maybe on that day we could go live from Koa. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Did you go to that brunch last cool. weekend, Freddie? Say that again. Did you go to that brunch last weekend? 
at the media island? Koa's brunch. Something, something this weekend. I'm hold on. I feel a little. Oh, happy. last weekend. I showed up really brunch. late. Did last you week. did you eat brunch? At the the Koa brunch? media island thing. Did you eat brunch at Koa last week? I think they did it for last word books. I don't know. I showed up really late. I missed like everybody. Didn't eat any. Didn't miss. Uh, eat at a brunch. Yeah, they had like a. What's what's for brunch? What's brunch food? Mm, brunch is no, like, like wraps and stuff. The middle of breakfast, you can still have pancakes and maybe a burger, but not both. It's either it's either breakfast or lunch food. It's not its own thing. I don't know. Brunch brunch is tricky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I actually have no idea what brunch would be. Probably some potatoes, maybe an egg. I don't know. Mm, so that's mm -hmm. breakfast stuff. Crepes. You crepes. can have savory crepes for brunch. That's a crepes. good idea. Yeah. Crepes That's is actually a very good brunch soup. Yeah. Crepes, I think, mm -hmm. is is like straddling the brunch breakfast. Brunch has and lunch like thing. eggs and hollandaise sauce. Mm, yeah, have, like, like lunch they, eggs. They often have like a buffet at traditional brunches. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have fruits. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever actually eaten like an <laughs> official brunch before. Mm -hmm. I definitely eat yeah. at that time all the time. Right, exactly. I've eaten food at brunch time, but usually I consider it one or the other. I feel like in order to have brunch, you need to have had breakfast and you need to also eat lunch afterwards. Otherwise, <coughs> it's not brunch. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really eat meals anymore. Like, the whole morning time is really just avoidable, usually. Just like coffee. Yeah. At like one. It's usually. I don't really sit down for. I guess, you know, I mean, I eat meals every day, but I don't ever. Say, like, this is lunch. You know? I guess yeah. people say, like, what did you have for lunch? And you say, well, what did you eat this time, you know? You know, should get back into that. I wonder if people do that. They all, I mean, what happens if you only have two meals a day? What do you call it? Do you call the first one breakfast and the second one lunch? Even if the second one is at 7 p.m.? It's hard to say. I thought I brunch feel like was like a combining of breakfast and lunch, and then that way you don't have to, that way it's only one. And then that way you have a second one later that would be like dinner or supper supper yeah supper is like an old one I actually hear I work at uh, Panorama City at their closed circuit TV station sometimes and people still call things supper and they don't I think I can't tell whether they're replacing lunch or are they replacing dinner with supper isn't that an early dinner I don't know <laughs> I've never I've heard the word before but I don't know if I've ever I mean, you, I've definitely not used it before. I'm going to go eat supper. I never said that before, but uh, I don't know if anybody else has ever... <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was just the same as dinner. I thought it was just another word for dinner. <laughs> That's how I treat it, for sure. Like, yeah. I, will, I will use it interchangeably at times, but I don't know if... I mean, but who is making up these rules anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, I guess Emily like Post. the dictionary. Dinner is what you make it. Yeah. Under supper and dinner, they're both in the dictionary. They're different. I bet they are different. I wonder if it's a dictionary anyway. People, I guess, <laughs> use, this, use the internet these days. I wonder if anybody has an actual book anymore. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wonder who has the dictionary. I, I wonder if there's one around we could find. It. Uh, I think I would much rather use the dictionary than the internet, at least on the program, for sure. <laughs> I was trying to think of, um, earlier, I was trying to think of other things... This is on the topic of daylight savings time, but like other things that we all do, that are like we we kind of lie, you know, we, it's a big lie to yourself. I was trying to think of other cultural things that we kind of ignore, that are there, and we just tell ourselves that it's happening, and then we believe it. Right. I do think daylight savings time is a lie that yeah. we're collectively believing and making it true through collective belief. Yeah. And I, I think there's probably more like you know big collective belief lies that we go along with that are that aren't that big and they're but we all know about them you know like not secret ones but that we all know about. And I'm trying to think of other ones, but I think that they're so ingrained as lies you know that you just kind of ignore the fallacy of it. Like Santa Claus. I think time zones time zones fall okay. into that too, where yeah. it's like time zone. We say it's one time in one place, and then you like over one line and all of a sudden you're at a different time you can like I don't know yeah. that, that to me sounds like not like it's not real it's not something real that's changing it's, uh... hey it's time for the next dice game 
Whoa, I want to play with ice cream. Awesome. All right, what number do you want? I'm going to pick a six. Oh, you have 500 points. Yes. Here we go. Oh, what is it? A one and a five. One and a five. I won. I got 500 points. We're tied. Oh. All right. I, cool. I have 500 you have points a five as also? well. Yep. I have, I have five. A five. Me and Rachel are on the same team. Yep. Wow. It's uh, a. hard to get team five. Yeah. It's uh, Right now it's us versus so you because you're the only one. Oh, and Carl. Two Carls are three. Did he? But he he has zero points, right? He has no points. That's he has right. No yeah. points. Carl's at, at no points. Great. <laughs> well, thanks, Freddie. You have anything else you want to say on TV today? One more thing. Uh, in 2012, on this day, it was I. Oh, I can't remember the episode number, but uh, it was during the mobile episode. It was a Monday, and Peter Jones taught us all how to make cranes. So. If you want to learn how to make cranes, go to Mark Fifth. Oh, we're getting we're getting a call on the line. Talk to you later. Oh, Hi. it's Dan. Hey, Dan. Hi, Kitty. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Don't worry about it. No problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I miss, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening to the Beatles. Oh yeah, which one? I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I was on the internet. Oh, great. Yeah, I, I got the internet now. You can watch the program on YouTube.com. What? You can watch the program on YouTube. That's where I watch the program. Hey. Yeah? Dan, it's, it's Daylight Savings Time week. We're talking about Daylight Savings Time. Yeah? What do you think about Daylight Savings Time? It's okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I got to rain. It is raining really hard. I'm actually uh, a biker. I got a little bit wet today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, a lot well, of rain. Uh, Almost a storm, I would say. Well, uh, have a good program. I, I call oh, me tomorrow, okay? One more thing real fast, okay, Dan? This on this front. Oh, oh wait, Dan, hey Dan, wait, wait, one more thing. No, oh he let. Hey, hold on. Okay, no more thing. Sorry, Dan. Uh, Hi. I was gonna tell him to come to Danso Dance on this yeah. Friday. Yeah, he was there last time, and it's pretty awesome, I think. Danso Dance is awesome. Yeah, the other big weird thing that we thought about was also a time thing. I'm trying to think of that. There's got to be some other other thing. That's the Daylight savings time, looking for things. I guess it's just the time thing. How else can you... I guess we made it up so then we can do whatever we want with it as people <coughs> push yeah. it around, not like other stuff. Yeah. Here, I guess let's call some... Uh, uh, we should probably start calling, like, when daylight saving time actually goes through, we could start calling other places, but then we'd have to wait till 2 a.m. Call them and ask them what time it is right now. Mm-hmm. Let's call some convenience stores. We'll say, <laughs> what time is it? Uh -huh. Where should we call? California? Yes, California. All right, here we go. We're going to call... Davis, Davis, California. Here we go. Convenience stores will say, what time is it? You guys got any hot dogs? Nice. This is on Mesa Boulevard. Have you ever been to Davis, California before? I've never been to Davis, California that I know of. Me neither. I don't know where it is actually, so maybe I've driven through. Here we go. Hey, Davis, California. What time is it? AMC, I'm South Davis. This is Brandon. How can I help you? Hey, Brandon, what time is it right now? 
What time is it? Yeah. It is 11, or 10.44. So you got like 15 minutes if you want to buy alcohol here. Okay. What about hot dogs? You guys got any hot dogs? No hot dogs. Oh, what about cold ones? Um, we don't got any of that stuff. I mean, we have like a hot pocket crap, but like we don't got any of the hot food or any of that. No, but no, what, what about like hot dogs in a package though? Like cold? Nope, we don't sell hot dogs in a package either. No, what about, what about those beef sticks? Beef sticks? Like, we have like... We have like all sorts of beef jerky kind of products, yeah. Sure. Yeah, like the stick, like the ones with the stick though, like the skin. Yeah, what, I'm looking what, at stuff like that right here. Yeah, that are what, thick with the skin. Yeah. What do they call that? Is it pepperoni? Is it called pepperoni sticks? It's called beef stick, right? Is that what the name well, of it is? Well, they're like yeah, they're like beef steak, whatever things. Yeah, and then there's all different kinds. There's like original pepper, teriyaki. There's all sorts of different ones. Is it called? Is it called beef stick though? I'm looking, no, not particularly called beef stick, it's called beef steak or whatever. Uh, which okay. Which is the closest thing I'm seeing to it. I thought they were called beef sticks. No, not that I'm looking at right here on our aisle. I mean, maybe it's a different product. Teriyaki. <laughs> spicy. Yeah, they had some spicy one over here. You think that's too spicy though? Like, it says it's spicy. Is there like real spicy? Oh, I would have no idea. I don't eat any of this stuff. I've never actually tried the product myself to tell you how it was or if it is anything. Oh, uh, do, <laughs> do you guys have any of that hot dog stuff, like the, the toppings? Uh, yeah, we still have our condiments out, but I'm pretty quick here. When I finish counting the cigarettes, I'm about to dump that. So, I mean, if you want any of the condiments for that stuff, it's, like, out now, but it's not going to be out forever. Maybe I could put a beef stick in a hot dog bun and some of those toppings. <laughs> Maybe. A couple beef sticks, maybe. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. All right. You should get a wasabi one. Oh, you don't know if they have those wasabi beef sticks? That's a good question mm -hmm. for them. <clears throat> have you seen that before? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, awesome. Yeah, I like the... Uh, I like the uh, the really spicy bison ones. Those are really those are good. Bison sticks. Mhm. Mm That's pretty much the only jerky I'll eat. I, I bet people call them a lot to try to buy booze at the last minute. Sounds like. Yeah. It's like oh, booze ends at this time. Yeah, ten. That's a weird. Or eleven. Is that what you said? Eleven for booze? Yeah. It's kind of weird. Hello, this is RPM. Can I help you? Hey, AM PM. Can you tell me what time it is right now? I'm sorry? What time is it for you guys right now? 20 on 2. 20 on 2? Okay. And hey, anything do you, else for you? Do you guys got any hot dogs cooked up right now? Which hot dogs, sir? Like, uh, cook, cooked hot dogs? No, no, which one? Which, we have uh, four kind of hot dogs, so which one you need? I don't know, just a regular one, I guess? Regular one? Regular? Yes, sir, we have. Great. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, they still got it. Oh, hello? Yes. Thank you. You're ba welcome. Bye-bye. You sure? What? Am I sure what? Bye-bye. Bye-bye? Am I sure bye-bye? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I could keep talking, I guess. Yeah, no problem. Oh, really? You guys got yeah. those beef sticks? Uh, yes, sir. You guys go wasabi? Yeah. Do you like, do you, do you, like you, you want you want hot dog or you want a beef stick? Oh, I don't want. I'm probably not gonna come in anymore. I mean, I I think I just want to know what time you guys had it going. You don't decide what you need. Oh, don't don't worry about it. Don't. I might I might not even show up. I'm just kind of weighing my options here. You know. Okay. What's your name? Rick. Rick? How are you, Rick? How old am I? No, no, how are you? How am I? Oh, I'm doing real good. How are you doing? Good, good. You know, it's raining outside. How's that? How's the rain? Oh, it's very fast, man. It's a heavy rain, huh? Do you have a ride or you want to come walking? Oh, yeah. Eight. No, do, you have, do you have a ride? Fine. No.
week. So how can I come you? Are you coming on walking or what? For hot dog. It's it's time for a commercial break. Oh okay okay. When you when is rain stop then you come. Yeah. Oh, okay okay. Yeah because uh, you can uh, you clo you live close to AMPM or you far away. Yeah it's gonna be rain so uh, you have to be wait for uh, until stop the rain. Yeah. Anything else for you? You're welcome. You have a good night, sir. Bye. Yes? No, because you're calling, so you have to hang up. Otherwise, I respect my customers, so I don't want to hang up. I don't want to be like. Uh, uh, angry so if you if you if, if you want to done so you can hang up and I put it back and because uh, you are my customer so I don't want to be mad with you you hang up first no no I don't want to hang up man your daily out with yeah everybody it's a commercial I'm looking forward to down Soli dance that's gonna be the tomorrow Tonight. But today, I ate a brick of cheese. Yet Whoa. again. <laughs> and a Mountain Dew. Tune in for that. We're going to be on the radio. We talk about that. We talk about some McDonald's. And one person on McDonald's was kind of nice. We're on every night at 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. at TCTV Channel 22. St. Patrick's Week. We're back. Which time will you eat? We're back. We're uh, the, this guy, the AMPM guy, is on the phone. Hey, what's your name? Hello. So you you don't tell me where you where you eat. What? Oh, when I'm. What, what did what, I? What do you eat today? What did I eat today? I had a sandwich today. Which sandwich? Subway, In and Out, or which one? Oh, I went to McConey's. How about you? What, what, what did you eat today? Oh, I eat rice with the biryani. You know the biryani? Biryani, is that, that's a... Uh, yeah, it's Indian, Indian food, Indian right? Food. Indian food. Yeah, I've had that before. Biryani, yeah. You never, you never done before? I've biryani? had it before. I like Indian food. That's what I oh, made yesterday. Uh, you, you, can, uh, you know the uh, close to the Namastan Bar? It's going to be uh, uh, next to the Namastan uh, AMPM. They have a Namastan Bar restaurant. So oh, you can that, try that one. That sounds pretty good. Hey, what do you? Do you try Namaste Nepal or no? No, I've never been to that one before. What uh, do you think about daylight savings try, time? Man. You have to be try. It's gonna be good stuff on Namaste Nepal. Oh uh, yeah. What is so you, you? That's where you went today. You went to the Indian restaurant. You didn't make it. Yeah, I, I go to the Indian restaurant. Do you make your own Indian food too? You you sound like you're Indian in back. You got an accent. Yeah, we make at home too. You go both. You you can make it at home where you go out there. I guess I. Eat what what are you, you you make cooking back there or what? What are you doing? I'm not cooking. What? What, what are you doing back there? I, I heard like uh, you do wash something or maybe you clean. We're on, we're on TV. Oh, you on TV? Yeah. Oh, you were watching TV. What are you watching today? Well, I'm watching myself, I guess. Uh, you are you are you not student here in Davis? One one more time. You not student? You not student, student in UC Davis? Student, UC Davis, yeah, right. You are? Sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Have you seen anything on the streets? Have you seen anything on the no, streets recently? What are, you, what are you doing back there? I think you do do something. I heard something. Uh, maybe you heard the TV? I don't know. Oh, it's TV? Yeah. Oh. That's nice. How many people oh, call rain, you? Rain is, rain is tough. Out, rain is tough. You can come now. I don't think I'm, I'm going to go. Uh, where do you want to go? Uh, I think outside. I'm just going to stay I, home now. Been, I changed my... I don't, I, I'm just going to stay home. No, you come sometimes. You 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 uh, you are my regular customer. You come sometime a.m. p.m. or no? 
Yeah, I'll be there later. Oh, okay. A couple days. Huh? Hello? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be there in, in days. I'll take the days. I'll get there in a few days. Oh. Hey, uh, have you seen anything on the streets recently? Oh, what's going on? Oh, he's my customer. He, he's drunk. Oh, he's, he what, don't know. what is he doing? Yeah, he's doing bullshit. Is he, he's yelling at you? Hey, can I get yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's a little older. He's an old, right. old, old, old drunk guy. Is he buying more booze? Oh, yeah, he, he's already drunk and he buy more beer. Are you guys doing beer, yeah? Yeah, you see? What is he it's saying? Gonna be some, sometimes he's crap customer, too. What is he saying? He said you sold beer. I will have a beer. This is a stupid question. Yeah, of course you sold beer. It's right in front of you, right? Yeah, that's funny. Because if we have beer, we sold beer, and he said you sold beer, or no? Did, does, has this guy bought beer from you before? Do you recognize him? What? What? Hey, can I buy beer? Can I pay? Uh, uh, give me one second. He's, he's hey, you talking to the phone, man? I'm the customer, man. Give me one second, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 go, go deal with your customer. Yeah. It's... Oh, uh, yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait. Here, go talk to go. I, was, I was my customer, I want to phone. Talking to like 24 hours? No, 24 hours, he want hot dogs, he want beef sticks, so that's I why I was care, talking. I don't care, man, I just want to buy beer and then I want to go. Okay, can so I, go. Can I pay? Yeah, sure. Thanks, man, can I pay this shit? Yeah. $21.99, please. My God. You have a debit or credit? Debit, debit, man. Okay. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Have a good night, huh? Yeah, don't too much. Talk too much, man. Oh, I have to, but because my customer, I don't yeah, want yeah. to ignore my customer, yeah, man. you have to wait. Hello? Hey, hey, um, thank you very much. You've been real nice. I think I'm going to hang up now. Oh, you want to hang up? Yeah, I'm going to let you oh. deal with the customers because I, I, I am, uh, I want you to... No, he, he's a drunk, man. Don't worry about this guy. No, he's he was drunk. drunk. He doesn't matter? Yeah. What did he buy? No, Can he, I ask you? No, he, he don't buy, but he he just buy one beer, and he said, don't talk on phone and uh, taking customer. I said, on phone is my customer, too. He bought so $20, $20 dollars worth of beer? Yeah, no, no, he, he buy 30 back today. Did you get gas, too, or what? No, no, no gas. He just buy 30 pack. Oh, 30 pack. Like, yeah, he's gonna be hangover the whole night, I think. You up all night drinking? What kind of beer did he buy? We have uh, too many kind of beer, man. What did, it, what did he get? Coors? Yeah, Coors Light. Coors Light? Oh man, I knew, huh? Sounds like a party. Uh, do you drink or do you drink sometimes or not? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. How about you? Oh, okay. But not me. Never? No, I never drink. Why not? Uh, my religion say like this. What is that, Sikh? No, my religion. Religion, yeah. Is it? Are you Hindu? No, Muslim. Muslim. Ah, uh, okay. Oh man, I forget to get the gun, man. Hey, fuck you, man. Uh, can I buy gun too? I forget. Uh, this is because this is my regular customer. That's why he wanna he make bullshit. Uh huh. That's okay. Now he come back. Now he come back for gas. The same guy. The same guy. Because uh, you know, sometimes it's regular. I, uh, can I get twenty dollars number five? Sure. Have a good night. So, what are you doing right now? We're on TV. You're still TV, man? Do you have a girlfriend or what? <laughs> That's private. No, you don't have a girlfriend? That's private. You have it? It's private. I'm his co host. Because, because uh, this cold night. And uh, it's raining, and you're still watching uh, TV? I don't understand, man. You think I should be out looking for a girlfriend? I no, I don't want a girlfriend, girlfriend because I have my own my, my own girlfriend, one uh -huh. girlfriend. What do you say? Uh, Are you making fun of me? My my girlfriend? No, you're making fun of me. Fun of me? I don't know. Sounds like you're. I felt like you were picking on me for a minute there. Oh, okay. Yeah.
Hey, what do you think about daylight savings time? You know it's coming up pretty soon. You? Daylight savings time. For what, girl or what? No, hey, it's time for the dice game. You wanna play the dice game? Oh, no, no. You don't wanna play? No, man. Why? It's easy. Because I'm working. I, I'm working, man. No, oh, but it's on the phone. <laughs> the game's on the phone. No, no. You just pick a number. Pick a number which one is six. Which, which number you pick? I don't, I don't want to pick any number because my lucky number, I don't want to tell you, man. Some, I have my lucky number. Between one and so six? How can, I tell, is, how can I tell you on phone? It's not between one and six? No. You don't want to tell? No, man. Hi, how are you? Anything else for you? Uh, no. So, so you come tonight for buy a hot dog or no? Not tonight. You can you can add one more is two for two dollars. Are you telling me that are you trying to give me a deal? Three, three, six, three, three. I think Carl won, right? Oh no, Freddie. Did Carl have threes? Carl had three. Freddie had so six. So we have three, six, and three. When, what's the other ones? Yeah. What was the ones we rolled before? A six and a one, and then didn't the other have, one was the other one was a, a six too. I think Freddie won. Freddie, you got fifteen hundred points today. Yeah, he got. Got, hey, yeah. He was it, at a, thou a thousand. What's what's your name there? I think are you busy now? So if you want, you can hang it up. Okay. What's your name? My name is. Yeah. Why why you need my name, man? I don't know. You cause I've been talking to you for a while. I just want to know now. I told you my name. Okay, man. You now you my friend. So we don't need to name. Just friend. All right. Hey, yeah, thanks, friend. Call my, you can call me friend, okay? Thanks, friend. You've been very helpful today. Yeah, you too, bro. Okay, good, good, okay, I'm gonna hang up. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. Whoa! Well, he was really nice. Oh my god, we talked to that guy for like 20 minutes, I think. Yeah, I don't know how long it was, was on the Was it 20 minutes? I, I felt like it was about 20 minutes. I mean, he, yeah, he was on the commercial break. I think he was, was he there? It seemed like it was almost 20 minutes. He was really nice to you. He was a good guy. He, he was very helpful. He knew about the he stuff and the guy with the beer. He stuck through the commercial break. I can't believe mm -hmm. he talked in the beer. I think that's the longest. I think that's by far the longest anybody from any of these gas stations and McDonald's have ever talked to us. Yeah. Definitely. That was way, that was way long. <laughs> I know. I couldn't even, like, I was like, oh, I'm just getting weird, but I didn't feel like I could hang up with them just to try to keep it going. I almost, I tr actually tried to hang up twice. <laughs> And he said, are you, sh you sure you want to hang up? <laughs> and I, said, I had to say, I guess I'm not sure. I thought I was, I thought I wanted to help him by being like, okay. Well, it's always good Here. to have a... Here's your chance to hang up. That guy was, maybe he owns the place. It's better than when you call the McDonald's and you can't really hear him. And then it's like, you get the click really fast. Yeah, I wonder if that guy owns the place. He, he seemed like he really wanted me to buy stuff from him. Well, did you did kind of keep him on the phone for like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Did they, I mean, did they, was he trying to make a sale? Is that why he was on the phone for so long? Maybe. Like, he's like, okay, I'm going to make the sale. He was like a salesman. Did it, Did they, Did he say that they did have hot dogs? I don't even remember after talking to him for so long. Crap. I, now I don't remember. Yeah. It was in the beginning. It's. It was, it was too I think, much. I think they did. I think they had hot dogs. I can't believe he stayed on the phone. They though, definitely like had beer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other guy told him to get off the phone. And he didn't even do it. Yeah. That was crazy. That guy was probably driving drunk too. I think. The customer. Yeah. Because <laughs> like he went to buy a thirty pack of beer and they came back. <laughs> he was like, I think the guy and the guy on the phone, the friend there, he said the guy was drunk, right? Oh. Didn't um. He? He's yeah. like, this guy's drunk. Yeah. And they said this guy is buying gas. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, that's happening in Davis, California. Maybe we should call another place in Davis, California. I guess maybe it's, it's hopping over there or something. Davis, California is hopping. Or maybe it's not hopping, and that's why he didn't want to hang up the phone. But he, he actually, I think he wanted to talk. He's like, somebody's talking to me on the phone. That's how all those people should be. I don't know why they're not, so, like, trying to get off the phone so much. Maybe somebody started chatting at your work. You can be a, like, this is a customer. I wonder how long it would take us to drive down to Davis. Yeah, I don't even know where it is. It's like Lucan. So oh yeah, drive down. Yeah, I feel like I need to buy a hot dog from this guy now. I think it would. Is Davis like Southern California? Is Davis like, is, is it Bay Area? Close to Sacramento. Bay Area. 
Jeez. Yeah, so uh, we can get to the Bay Area in about well, like eight hours, probably. That's or not bad. Is that is that how long it is? It's gonna take us quite a while. He probably won't have hot dogs by the time we get there. He probably won't be there anymore. It's like in the middle, I can't. pretty much in the right in the middle of California. I'm really so. not supposed to eat hot dogs anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't even eat the hot dog. I would just go buy it, give the guy. Yeah. Think, like, say thanks. I don't think he'll be on the clock anymore, though. Hopefully, in eight hours, hopefully he'll, he'll be done with his shift. <laughs> he might be, if he just started, maybe he'll just be getting off and we can still get to him. But maybe we can go and we could at least leave a note for him or something. But mm-hmm. maybe maybe I'll call him later in the future. I don't know if I could save that number and say, I went in there the next day and, and got it when you went there. Just to, I mean, just lie. I mean, It'll be like David's daylight savings time will be a lie, but it'll, it'll be a to help him. Mm-hmm. Or it won't. It won't be a yeah. We came in on daylight savings time. It's not our fault. No, but I this just. This is what daylight say, savings does. I came in the daytime and you weren't there, and I bought a hot dog uh, <laughs> because you were so nice to me on the phone. <laughs> I think I don't. I think I could lie to him and say that, and it wouldn't uh, hurt anybody, mm-hmm. unless he went and found out. That guy might want to go find out. It seems like he's. Might be diligent about it and go check the tapes and say, which guy was it? I never heard anybody on the phone that long. I'm just calling another one, I guess, since that one was so uh, crazy. Which one did we just call anyway? Um, that was the AMPM. We called an AMPM. All right, here, well, let's call the next one. This one's in Dixon, California. I don't know if that's probably pretty close to Davis. Just because it starts with a D? Uh, just because it's, cl- it's close to, that's how this, how this thing, search thing for phone numbers work, so. You should ask them if they have kosher hot dogs. Kosher. Hello, did you have this? A, can you tell me what time it is right now? Huh? What time is it? To talk to Chevron gas station. Chevron, hey, do you guys got any hot dogs cooked up right now? No. Oh, is it too late or you guys just don't have them ever? We never make them share one, okay, before the AMP we make. Before the 18th? We never make hot food. You never make it? No. Hello? I did hang up. See? I'm not going to that one. That's how. Mo- that's how what I'm you. used to. That's how I wanted to get back. I was like, oh, man, that one guy, most people want to hang up really fast and get off the phone. Yeah. Well, that's because the other guy was really nice. That guy was busy, obviously. Yeah, well, the other guy was busy, too. He was dealing with customers on the phone. Excellent customer service. Yeah, that was amazing. He didn't even answer me. Multitasking, like crazy. I said, I told him to hang up. He didn't. I said, said, you hang up. You know, that was like a... Mm -hmm. That was like a a little... It was wild. I can't believe that happened. Hey, thanks, Rachel. Thanks for being here today. Yay. Thanks for having me, Kenny. Thanks, Freddie and Dan Dobler and Alex and Bird. Yeah. And especially Those people. special thanks to our friend at AMPM. That was amazing. Uh, Thank you. Who knows what's going to happen? There, that was. And and thanks, drunk guy, too. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, Davis, California. Yeah. Shout what, out. What an amazing time over there. Uh, mm-hmm. We made through another episode of the program without losing consciousness or dying. Wasn't so sure today, but we did it. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow for Carl. Yes. And tune in Friday for uh, our TCTV monthly special. Mm, with hot fruit. Uh, nope. Not oh, hot fruit. fruit. Yeah, fruit juice. Hot fruit. I always get them mixed up. Hot fruit, hot fruit juice. I'm like, which one hot is which? Hot fruit has the snake. Next episode number and date and day of the week. No, it was it is hot fruit. Yeah. I, I was thinking fruit juice this time, and then I said no, fruit no, juice, hot fruit. I go because they're both fruit bands week to back to back. Think computers. Fruit juice has dudes. Thanks, girls thanks Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, yeah. They're cool. Yeah. I know, I know the difference between them is the names they have the same word. Both excellent. Phones. Thanks, crew. You guys want to be on the crew? I didn't think you want. Rachel's on the crew. Yay. Thanks, TCTV. Thanks, LaBebe.com. Check it out. They're awesome. Psycho Feeling. Jordan E. Fabulous. Mm. Thurston County. Mm. Washington State. USA. Thank you. Viewers of you, you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.
拜。